today we're going to look at something a little bit more fun than um, our tech videos. I mean, I guess this is sort of a tech video, but we're going to look at a WLAN uh, client. So if we're on the PLC Next Door, plcnextdoor.com, we are going to search for WLAN. Inside WLAN, you are going to find a couple of things. Um, FLWLAN Basic, that's for... Um, controlling the uh, FLW LAN. So if we go to phoenixcontact.com and we do WLAN, um, let's see, 1101, it should be the one for the United States. That's not actually the one I have. I have the WLAN 1011, which is this one with a couple of antennas. So we're going to be playing around with this a little bit. Now, inside the store, this WLAN Basic will control these WLAN devices via the REST API. Um, the QR code generator goes with this WLAN for mobile devices, and this is the one we're actually going to be playing with today. If you look, this is basically just a fun app to make your PLC Next controller into a Wi-Fi controller. So in this case, they're using it for maintenance purposes. So say you had a machine out on the floor that was constantly connected to the internet and sending information to your SCADA system, but every once in a while a technician needed some local access. So you put a temporary, or sorry, you put a WLAN client on the machine and then using something like this, um, we can actually turn on, turn off the Wi-Fi, turn it on for a certain amount of time, um, give people random passwords, um, random SSIDs. That way, some technician that came in and worked on it last week, as soon as he walks in with his tablet, it doesn't automatically try to connect, uh, reconnect with that machine, which could um, in turn cause some harm to either people or the machine itself. So... If we break this down a little bit, um, I've already got a lot of this going. Um, I will open this PDF because it does give you an actual good breakdown. And if you're like me, you kind of want to know how this works. Um, you don't just want to understand that it works. You want to be able to change it, modify it, and use it for your application. I can already think of a couple people this would be good for. Um, but this and the QR code is, is sort of unnecessary, but it is a very cool feature and could be used for, for multiple things. Um, so the things that were interesting to me as you work through the document was it shows you sort of the breakdown of the function block. So this is that FLW land basic. So if we're back at the store, um, <laughs> that's this library and this library are just inside of this library. Um, so as we break it down, you know, this is connecting to um, writing the various values, and, and we'll go over that here in a minute. Uh, the password generator, this is another function block that was added, um, and as well as the QR code generator. So the QR code generator is also added in how it works. So this is sort of under the hood. How do I work it? How do I use it? Um, I followed this manual, was able to get it working very quickly. Um, so I'm just going to show you. And then, of course, this is the function block that's inside the PLC doing all of the connecting, uh, refreshing, uh, debugging, all that sort of stuff. Um, and it is, of course, in my favorite language, structured text. So um, this is what's under the hood. Um, this is how it works. Uh, and this is a very good document for that. Um, now, if we look, you'll see that inside the manual, they use um, the Swagger app and some JSON. So let's look at that um, real quick. So inside here, if we go to the address of the WLAN client, which in this case is 4.3, and then we put API v1, you're going to end up with this um, REST API app. Now, this is where you're going to get sort of the calls um, the information where you're going to see sort of drill down. So what I want to show you was in here, WLAN, um, and then we go to port ID, and then we go to try it out. So I, I know that in this case, the port ID is 101. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to have to log in. 
Phoenix contact uses the admin and then private, all lowercase, as the, um, the standard uh, login credentials. Now, if you'll notice, this is all the information that came back on channel one. So um, this is the operating mode, MAC IDs, uh, you, know, you name it, this has all of the detailed information. Um, if we clear this and cancel this, we can go to uh, profiles. This is what's actually being written. Um, so in this case, uh, the port ID is one and the profile ID is 102. Um, and it doesn't look like, sorry, the port ID is 102 and the ID is, uh, is one. Um, so now you'll notice that inside, uh, port 102, um, these are sort of the standard values that you get. So this is how you can find the information that's being given to you, um, in all of these various function blocks what to put in these values, what you're expecting back. Um, you can also edit um, the WLAN client from here. So if you were to copy this configuration, um, you can actually go to patch, and then patch is basically like writing. Um, so we would hit try it out, you know, uh, profile ID 102, and if you fill in these values and hit execute, then when you execute, you're writing new values into the WLAN client. Um, so that's all this library is doing is posting um, these JSON values that you can find here, but are given to you here um, inside of the app. So now that you've sort of gotten the technical out of the way, um, let's just see the app. So. Um, I've already got the program uh, running. These are all the various setups, function blocks. Um, again, this is a whole program, so you just load this uh, library off the internet and then open this project in PLC Next Engineer and then um, run it on your controller. So I do have it running on my controller at the moment. If we go to um, right here. So this is the app. Um, running on my local PLC next. So if I minimize my virtual machine here um, or my remote desktop connection and we go to Wi-Fi, we'll see that um, after my computer searches for more Wi-Fi's, um, there's no PXC maintenance Wi-Fi. Um, that's going to be generated once I start this app. So we're going to say the WLAN on band GNN Channel 11, uh, maximum output power. This is what we want the SSID to be. And then this is our deactivation timer. So we can say only turn on this Wi-Fi for 30 minutes. What that does is it allows a technician to come in, work on what he needs to work on. And then when he leaves or it, you know, no longer needs access, the Wi-Fi is turned off. And then nobody can accidentally connect to the Wi-Fi. So... If we do this, we'll see that we're ready. Um, everything is turned off and we have 30 minutes left on the timer. If we hit activate, it's gonna run through um, a bunch of steps in the background to check with the WLAN client, uh, set up the parameters, check to make sure the parameters are set right, and then actually activate um, the Wi-Fi client. So if you'll notice, um, it's telling us to refresh the page. If we refresh the page, we're going to get a QR code. Now, if you were to scan that with your mobile device like your phone, it's basically going to say, do you want to connect to this Wi-Fi network using uh, this password? Um, and then you would just say yes. And then now you're online with the device using just a QR code. Um, I don't have my phone or any way to scan a QR code from here, but I can show you that the Wi-Fi did get activated. So if we go back to my computer here and we search for um, more Wi-Fi signals, you'll see that PXC maintenance uh, showed up here. Um, now, that if we did want to find the password, we should be able to find it inside of PLC Next Engineer under the main program. Um, this is where it's going to be running. The password generator is here. 
and my guess is that the password that was generated is that. So if I was to take that password here and put it um, into my Wi-Fi settings here, I would be able to disconnect from the internet and connect to the Phoenix Contact Maintenance um, Wi-Fi app, and then I could work on my machine and, and, and do what I needed to do. Now, if we wanted to turn it off, um, obviously after 28 more minutes, um, it's going to turn itself off and then change the password and make sure that nobody can reconnect to the device. If we want to turn it off manually, um, we can deactivate the app. It takes a few seconds for everything to kind of shut down, turn off, um, make sure that nobody's still active. Now you'll notice that the app state has gone red. That means that the Wi-Fi has been turned off. And again, if we go down to um, search for various Wi-Fi's, um, we'll see that PXC maintenance will leave the list um, here in just a second um, once everything kind of catches up and refreshes. Um, but it's kind of a, a neat app. Um, there are definitely some use cases for it out in the world. Maybe not with this uh, QR code and, and sort of this generation, but um, it definitely has some use cases out there, and it's it's a fun app. It also shows off some of the openness and some of the ability you have out of a, a, a just a regular controller, a very open platform.